Welcome to Parker, Math and More. I'm Parker. So why did the boy throw the clock out of the window? He wanted to see time fly. <laughs> Today, we are going to learn how to read the hour hand on an analog clock. In my next video, we are going to learn how to tell time to the minute. Being able to tell time is a key skill needed at home and school. Learning how to read a clock can also teach multiplication by five and fractions. Let's start off imagining a clock with 24 hours instead of the standard 12. The time for a whole day is partitioned into 24 equal hours, but analog clocks normally display just 12 hours. So on this 24 hour clock, each number represents one hour. The hour hand starts the day pointing up. As the day goes by, the hour hand travels in a circular motion through each number. When the hour hand is on the three, it is the third hour of the day. When the hour hand is on the 17, it is the 17th hour of the day. So to read the hour, you just look at which number the hour hand is pointing to. In one whole day, the hour hand would move around this hypothetical 24-hour clock just one time, since there are 24 hours in a day. As you probably know, most clocks do not display 24 hours. Clocks usually only display 12 hours. So let's switch to one now and see how it works. We will discuss why clocks typically only have 12 hours instead of 24 in our next video. 12 is half of 24, so this means that our hand needs to move around the clock twice to represent one whole day on most clocks. There are 12 hours in the morning and 12 hours after midday. 12 plus 12 equals 24. So this is a standard analog clock with the hour hand colored in gray and the minute hand colored in blue. The hour hand is the shorter hand. Today, we are going to focus on just the hours. So the clock I will be using will only have the hour hand. On a clock with 12 numbers, the day starts with the hour hand pointing up at 12 a.m., which is also called midnight. The first time the hour hand travels around the clock, we will call before midday, or AM. Midday is shown on the clock now. This is also known as noon, or 12 o'clock PM. The second time the hour hand travels around the clock, we will call after midday, or PM. AM means before midday, and PM means after midday. So, you read a 12-hour clock the same way as a 24-hour clock, except that you also need to sleep whether it is before midday or after midday. Let's practice with a few examples. The hour hand starts in the up position at 12 o'clock AM, which is midnight. It then travels to the right in a big circle. It first travels through the AM cycle. You can think of this as the morning cycle. At 6 a.m., people start waking up. At 10 a.m., people are at school. At 12 o'clock p.m., it is midday, which is also called noon. This is when we eat lunch. This also marks the beginning of the p.m. cycle of the clock. This is the after midday cycle. Now, when we state the hour, we say p.m. after it instead of a.m. At 6 p.m., many people start eating dinner. At 8 p.m., most children are about to get ready for bed. Finally, at the end of the day, the hour hand arrives all the way back at 12, which is 12 a.m. again. The AM or the morning cycle of the clock starts all over again. You might be wondering what the hour is when the hour hand is between numbers. 
In that case, the hour is the earlier number. We will learn how to read minutes in the next video to learn the exact time. For example, when the hour hand is between 12 and 1, the hour is 12. When the hour hand is between 5 and 6, the hour is 5. So, that is the lesson for today. I covered how to read the hour hand on an analog clock. That was pretty easy, right? Thanks for watching! Remember to multiply your fun and divide your worries. You can count on Parker Math and more, so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.